What's up and good evening mga kaibigan. Nandito tayo ngayon para sa Focus Fires official Filipino broadcast of Blast Premier Fall Groups 2021. And uh, pa dito sa ating first series, we'll be seeing Big go up against G2 para sa ating lower bracket finals. At kami ang inyong magiging shoutcaster for this evening. This is JB. And this is Sneaky Frog. Maganda nga ang laban na meron tayo ngayon. Big versus G2. G2. Parehong natalo dito sa NIP, <laughs> pero pareho nilang dinunog ang MIBR. So, Yum. meron na silang onting warm-up. Uh, medyo nagka-problema nga lang ang big dun sa upper bracket na meet nga nila ang, so far, yung number one candidate to get out of his group ang NIP. Pero, judging from yung mga series from both mm. teams nga, kalaban nila itong NIP, Going into this one, feeling ko G2 yung malakas ngayon. Most JB. Solely okay. sa reason na naaalala ko pa rin yung first map ng G2 against NIP na tinalo nila yung NIP in their mm-hmm. own pick, which is yung Ancient, which is a really ah. hard task to do, ah, to be honest, kung kalaban mm-hmm. mo ang NIP na main map talaga nila ang yung Ancient na yun. Ancient. Pero I think today hindi tayo makakita ng Ancient. That's for sure kasi both teams... <laughs> Throne 3D really play this map. So, yeah. Let's just wait and see. Ayun nga. And uh, gaya na sabi niya, intay na lang natin yung veto kung ano nga ba yung magiging mapa natin for this series. Pero I do agree with Sneaky since uh, G2, mas may pinakita silang uh, laban against dito nga sa NIP compared dito sa big. Pero, isang bagay siguro na... Anong tawag dito na magmamatter would be yung yung duels talaga. Doon talaga tayo doon talaga magmamatter ang lahat. If ever may panalo nila dito yung mga duels, they would most likely have a, a control doon sa isang mapa. Utility wise, yes na andun siya pero for me secondary lang siguro yun. And eto pala, meron tayong big update dito sa ating uh, CS:GO bot As per our information, eh, wala po munang ganun na mangyayari for this one. And dito sa series natin, wala po tayo makikita ang big changes pa. So, mali natin sa finals or sa susunod pang mga series. Mm-hmm. I mean, tossing a nade. Kung nakita nyo nga yung clip dun sa Facebook, guys, yung tinapon yung nade tapos nagbukang, you know, lumilipad yung flash. Siyempre, natural reaction talaga ng player is to look away. So, Tingnan natin, baka maayos pa yan ng CSGO before you know, it goes too far yung mga ganun na plays. Pero yun na nga, mm. uh, I mean, napapaisip talaga ako ng onti dito. Anong pwede pang tanggalin ng, uh, ng big dito up against uh, G2? Feeling ko mm-hmm. talaga dapat i-prioritize ng big itong inferno ng, ano, ng G2. Kasi... Every time talaga, every time, with the exception yung NIP, syempre. Tanggalin natin yung <laughs> NIP, NIP yun Game 3. Eh. <laughs> NIP yun eh. Pero with the exception of NIP, every hmm. time na nakaka, nakakapili ng Inferno itong G2, they always make it either dominant or, you know, medyo mahirap yung game, pero somehow, napapanalo nila in the end. So, yeah. Um, hmm. Dapat talaga i-prioritize ng big na tanggalin itong Inferno. Iniisip ko nga rin, tatanggalin ba nila yung Mirage? Kasi Mirage, according sa stats, pangit nga dito para sa si G2, pero I've seen them you know shine dito sa mapa na to. Feeling uh-huh. ko, this could be a second or third pick. Pero hindi pa natin alam, syempre. The Vito has not come yet, pero Nostra uh-huh. lang. Onting Nostra lang. Pero <laughs> dito sa big eh, alam na natin sa G2, guys. Come on, Nico. The Nico Show, si Amanek. <laughs> minsan nang hindi ko sinasabing minsan nang nagsho-show up pero he has been really inconsistent dito sa ating Lately, no? games. Oo. Mm. So it's either Nico Hunter or Jax talaga yung titignan mo dito eh para sa dito uh-huh. sa big naman the season and Tabs and show still you know kahit nung um, actually kayo yung nagcast noon yung boss JB no ano nangyari uh-huh. dun sa game na yun. Yung MIBR mm. yung big MIBR wala talagang full control lang sila noon sa may Mirage. For them, talagang kinontrol lang nila yung mid. And then, si Tabsen, tsaka si, si Kito. Ayan. Si Kito, makikita ko talaga siya kung mag-flank. Talagang sobrang solid. And on top of that, 
yun nga kanila mga utilities sobrang well used so tignan natin kung magawa din ba nila yun dito up against G2 uh, this is a higher caliber compared doon sa MIBR syempre di ba makikita naman natin masasabi talaga natin that higher caliber itong G2 since sila yung nakaabante dito sa ating lower bracket finals while si itong MIBR eh na maalam na po dito sa ating tournament pero ayun nga gaya na sabi ko it's still a challenge para sa big to go up against G2 na isa din sa mga malakas talaga na team pero yun nga ang ating uh, head to head mga chong and uh, Hunter against Kito okay mm. and uh, I think yeah that's a really good matchup na pipiliin yan ng stream natin I mean itong mm. si Hunter he's the reason why G2 has space in the first place pag nag uh, papasok sila ng site na ikita ko nga doon sa Mirage bigla na lang siya tatakbo sa loob ng connector na parang si Blame F and he gets control in this one pero smart one hindi ko naisip yun ah from big okay really smart na binan nila ancient kasi I mean that one win against NIP doon sa last series nila you can't just gloss over <laughs> G2 can play this map ban overpass Oh, eh? not sure about that dito sa ah, actually okay pala dito sa G2 67% sa G2. win rate Dust to Inferno so instead Basically. na i-prioritize dito ng big itong Inferno mas natakot sila dito sa agent I think inexperience din is coming into effect dito okay Vertigo okay. Mirage Nuke okay so hirap sabihin ito no? walang clear winner dito no. sa ating picks <laughs> walang clear winner sa ating picks sa stats it could say na 33% nga ang win rate dito ng G2 sa Dust2 but that's mm. including yung Pro League and in my opinion di ko da, di ko, in my opinion di ko lang kinakount yung Pro League kasi that's just a weird tournament para dito sa G2 nag bomb out lang sila it's one of those you know it be like that sometimes na tournament na matatalo at matatalo ka talaga so Dust2 Medyo may advantage dito nga ang big in experience and in win rate. Medyo may edge sila dito. But G2, they're not too bad dito sa mapa na to. Aha. Well, alam naman natin na very basic talaga tong mapa natin ngayon. Yung mga makikita natin. Pero, ay 50-50 to para sa akin. And, uh, mahirap tumaya. <laughs> Pero anyways, mga chong, alam nyo na PM na lang kayo sa page pagtataya. Eh, bawal sabihin eh. <laughs> Basta PM na lang kayo. Doon na lang kayo mag-PM and doon natin isettle kung gusto nyong mag-bet. Pero anyways, don't forget to check out the Armory. Meron tayo mga bagong merch na nakalabas dyan. So be sure to follow their page para maging updated kayo sa ating mga panibagong mga designs. And don't forget to check them out on Shopee as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. G2. Uh, big. Considering Dust2, yung pick G2 is probably gonna start T side maybe I'm mm-hmm. not sure actually I mean mas madaming success para dito sa G2 nga ang CT side ng Dust 2 pero yeah. G2 T side sila yeah T side they'll be picking T side so um eto yung ano ah uh, etong mapang to yung magdidikta siguro kung sino yung magkakaroon talaga ng momentum for the next map Kasi I feel like this is a 50-50 matchup and kung sino yung magkaroon ng momentum, maaari at mata- mataas yung chance talagang maka 2-0. Ano ano kasi tong team, ano kasi tong mga teams na to eh? Uh, momentum based tong mga to eh. Yan G2, etong big as well. Pagka talaga, alam mo yun, may mga tilting rounds sila na right after that, kaya pa nilang may panalo. It's just that wala eh, tilted na sila eh. Diba? Gaya na sabi ko, momentum-based itong mga players and itong mga teams na to. So, let's see kung sino nga ba ang mag uh, online ngayon. Diba? Mm-hmm. Well, let's check this out. Okay, tamang explanation lang from the IGL. Mm-hmm. Have you guys? We're gonna start CT. Make sure na walang leaks ang ating <laughs> defense. Kasi onting leak lang pwede yung i-punish ng G2. Dust 2, oh. name of the game is a long so probably most of the time may kita nyo yung CTs and T's you know, flocking towards that location mm-hmm. kasi 
pag nakuha mo na yung ilong, napaka-importante eh. Kahit hindi ka magte-take ng A, ilong pa rin. <laughs> Ayun nga eh. Parang sobrang importante talaga dito ng ilong sa may dust to Once you've controlled this, easy access na yung isang site. ba? Diba? Okay. So, ayun nga, mga chong, they really need uh, this time. Pero habang wala pa, mga pops, don't forget to share the stream. And uh, may isa pa tayong series mamaya, kaya kalmahan nyo lang. And magiging maganda pa rin po ang ating matutunghayan later. Best of three pa rin yun. Whoever wins this will be going up against NI. Okay. So here we go. I think we are about to start the game. So map 1. Shot and pistol round. So yun nga mga pop. Karon agad ng tag and mainit yung mga players dito ngayon tagging gate in exchange for Jax. Though Jax is very low with 13 HP, pero still doable. Okay. Getting some information bago mag-commit sa isang site. They're playing it slow. Same with Big. But there's gonna be some flash by Tabs and Gay taking that kill towards Hunter. Okay. So good minus one. Pero nasa mid kasi karamihan sa may G2. They have, they have a leisure of What rotating. What is this defense by Big? <laughs> <laughs> lima. Lima. Lima tayo dito sa mid. Actually, meron palang isang tao dito sa B. I think alam kasi ng big, no? Na hindi, mm -hmm. hindi pa sila magko-commit dito sa B-site. Knowing that uh -huh. Nexa was holding the bomb. Ay, hindi pala si Nexa. Si Jax yata, yung nasa mid kanina. And nagpapakita dun sa minimap na nasa kanya pa yung bomba. So, they know that it's not gonna be a beat take until now. Yeah, please. So, maganda din naman ang ginala, ginawa nilang play dyan. But then again, like what I've said earlier... Duels is pretty much important. Kanina, ganda ng ginawa ng Big. Nag-stack up sila sa mid just so they know where to expect the enemy. But Tijan can't commit on the site. Tatlo ang kanyang makakalaban. It's very hard to pick them up like this. Pero, he'll be tagged in. Ito na nga. Dinajoggle na lang nila dito. But Tijan taking two might be able to get one. Not this one from that decoy. But there's Jax to finish him off. And uh, good round. Mm -hmm. Kanta sana ng start dun para kay, para kay Big eh. Like they had the yeah. first play dun sa round na yun. Minus one agad ang G2. Pero G2 showing why they went 5-in-1 sa pistol rounds against NIP. Their pistols are just oh so good. <laughs> ang bilis nila mag-take ng sight. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, yun lang. 5-1 dun sa pistol round did not save them from losing the series. But it could pay off naman para dito against Big Petito. 35 HP. Ayun nga eh. The 35 HP can't too much, but uh, meron at meron ko magagawa. But Sir Son, oh, nakita, nakita niya ba yung barrel? Hindi ko sure kung nakita niya yung barrel, but Sir Son here is uh, still not giving up that boost. He'll be spotted. He'll be tagged as well. So Molly will be thrown. But Nico knows. Someone is there and ito na nga. Aakit na muna sila dyan. The smoke setup is out there. Tishan with that deagle. Let's fire through that one. Pero wala siyang matatamaan. Though may dalawa dyan nakaabang. That's for sure. Pero nabigla dito ngayon si Nico. Nakuha dito ni Kito. Though Hunter will be taking one. Kaso a duel is happening here. Sirson taking itong si Jax mga kaibigan. Leaving Hunter with that SMG. And final kill goes to Sirson. And ito nga pong big, nagpapakitang gilas pa din. Even though they forced that buy with just those digs and one SSG, eh nakakuha sila dito ng magandang round. This is just showing you importance of that scout during those second round four spies. Kasi nga, you tag them for 70 HP. Easy execute na lang yan with the deagle ng mga kakampi mo and Searson definitely putting full value on that sniper rifle. Napaboost nga sila. They're always finding that first play. Yung unang um, yung unang location na nakita nga dito si Searson, he was in A short trying 
na makakuha ng minus 1 dito sa lower tons and big grabe their defense so aggressive but ngayon nag-switch up na sila super passive this time ayun nga passive indeed pero sa ngayon ah yung barrel dito ng big ah uh, mm, chops pero <laughs> doable eh alam naman natin Daming damage kaya may provide niyan given that G2 Esports only has those uh, deagles and one galil. Pang farm na item pero wait lang. Asian. Tagging itong si Jax at isa naman napatay kaso. Tabsen already knows someone is out there. Someone will be planting the bomb. Amanek will be the one to pick that one. Pero Sirso nang nakakuha nga kay Kuya mo Amanek right after planting that one. And ito pa nga. Tabsen taking one, picking off two, leaving Nico and Jack. They will be holding that bomb. Pero it's way too far, and Jack needs to save his armor at least. Mm -hmm. Tirso na naman. He's the reason why they are winning these rounds. That scout is also oh deadly, and mm -hmm. I think inalaw nga ng big na magtake itong a short ang G2 knowing fully that they can retake especially with the guns that they have dito sa city side no mas long range ang capability nila dito meanwhile naman sa G2 they do have the deagles pero I think uh, Nico can hit that 9 times out of 10 pero Amanek ayun na Searson is down the scout is out <laughs> naman pala yung sagot eh kailangan lang palang tapatan ni kuya mo Amanek ah, but like what you pointed out earlier, uh, uh, Sneaky, kailangan maging consistent ni Amanek dito. Lagi natin nakikita si Nico, lagi natin nakikita si Hunter. But then again, Amanek, may mga times, yes, na sobrang galing or sobrang ganda. Ang kanyang performance is just that we need to see more from him. Diba? Oh, good flash. Smoke setup and long ninja plant dito si Kuya mo. But Kito taking Nico sa my mid. Good kill yun. Wait. Slow play. Coming from big. Meron silang man advantage. Gun advantage. Sorry. Pero gandang flash. And ito na nga. Pinapakita na nga nila yung kanilang gun advantage. Right there, and Amanek will be picked off there by Gade for the very last kill. And tatlo pa yung nabuhay dito ngayon sa big. This will be good for big. And ayun nga mga kaibigan. Gandang diffuse. And sirang economy para dito sa G2. And G2, yun nga lang. They got everything that they needed. That first pick nga dito sa mid na nakuha ni Amanek, but did not get the finish. And now, big. By lang, AKs and everything. So, madami na silang nasisave na pera. So, the few coming rounds that if, if they do lose itong uh, following rounds natin, they still have a buy to work with. Mm -hmm. Too aggressive itong big this time. Back to, you know, normal default tang ganing sa kanila. Walang nag first play masyado. I think there might be one dito sa B. Ito. Pero... Wala, angle, then when someone, this is just an angle, probably when someone dies, aalis na agad yung upper. Ah, uh, okay. Ayun lang, nasas out ba. It just goes to show, na merong isang tao dito ngayon sa may B-site, and information yun, para dito, sa may G2. That's what they need right now. Kailangan muna nila dito, eh, you hey know, Hunter is doing everything para talaga mapapunta and mapareact sa may B-site. Yun ng big, it's just that, Wala, naka-anchor talaga sila dun sa may A-long and uh, G2 is having a hard time controlling A-site. Wala pa, hindi pa sila magko-commit eh. Naka-ano pa lang sila dito, naka-forma, napupunta ng B. Pwede sila mag-B-split, sa totoo lang. Kaso handa pa rin yung big eh, whatever happens. Molly? Mali sa likod, Kito. Oh, kitang kita yung bota ni Hunter. There will be someone to go from mid. And magkakaroon nga po ng info si Tabsen together with the other guys from big. Nico, finishing off Tabsen. Gade with that clear angle. 
Ang ganda naman talagang kuha doon. Pero yung tao sa may platform, nakuha na nga ni Jax. 2v3 situation. Those duels, sobrang importante. Amanek picking up itong si Tejan. Nakita ang barrel and naunahan. Patay pa nga si Kuya Mong Jax. Amanek versus Gade. But... Will there be time para kay Amanek? He's defusing the bomb. What a smart play from Gabe. So he'll be taken out. But still, na-defuse ba? Tinigil. It's 4-1. Sabi nakalagay dun sa scoreboard. Hindi ko alam. Like, is he just angry? Baka naman perfectionist tong si Gabe. Like, sabi niya, guys, bakit patay tayo lahat? Ako po, nakakaipo na tayo ng economy. Pero... Dying there probably wasn't worth. The galit pa rin sila. Ngayon lang ako nakakita ng team na galit sa panalo. Totoo. Wala eh. At least, di ba? They wanted everything to be perfect and go smoothly. So, let's see. Tumahas yata yung standards, no? Dahil nga dun sa NIP game. Getting 2-0 really hurts kung nakalaban yun na team. Especially here, ang nakatalo pa dun sa pick ng NIP. So, Really, they're here coming to play. Itong big and 4 to 1. Already a good start para sa kanila economically. Namatay nga sila lahat. But they can still buy. But if they do lose this one, meron silang chance na maka half buy lang sila going into the next round. Pero itong G2, medyo healthy na yung buy at least. Meron na silang mga smokes. Oh, and more rifles all those, na. Pero walang nade. So, pure bullets lang gagawin dito ng ano. Hmm. Ako burn damage ang gusto nga nilang uh, pull off dito though. Gabe spraying down the big door sa my mid. But still, no information coming from the guy. Ganda ng angle na hinuhold dito nung mid player na itong big. From CT, Tabzin will be picked off by Hunter. Jax. Ito na. Nag-i-sprint papunta nga sa my B-doors mga kaibigan But Gade Served as a gate dito sa my B Pero Nico taking Kito And that can be 2 for 2 Okay, next ha Taking Tijan So sa ngayon, outnumbered na yung big Sila yung nag-boss, tama? Sila ba yung nag-boss or yung G2? Kanina? Sila yung nag-boss So big yung nag-boss And they lost And they lost Really funny Kaso I think Nahanap na natin yung reason why uh, yun nga, uh, problema itong uh, B-site. Parang minention yata ni Gade. Parang may napansin siya eh, that there is something wrong with this B-defense. And despite getting yung 2 ray dito sa mid, no? G2 still stacking. And by G2, I mean Nico. One man army dito sa B-site. Pero <laughs> it, that was a close one. Para dito sa big. Pero yeah, they do lose it in the end. Pangalawang beses nang na-caught out yung isang temper nila doon sa isang lurker. Hmm. So, unting awareness lang galing dito sa big. And they can get it back. Tamang 5-man tack lang dito sa B though. So, ang ganda ng binibigay dito ngayon ng... Uh, anong tawag dito? Ng big. Kahit sabihin natin naka-dead round lang sila with just those pistols, they're still holding one side all together. Para ready sila makakuha dito ng kills. Kaso... Isang information lang para sa G2 na okay, maraming tao sa B. They can bail out. They can bail out already. Sir Son taking next up. The guns way too far and alam na nga dito ng G2 na naka-pistols lang sila and ayun, pinanish na nga agad ng G2 'yon and still goods. Kahit sabihin natin na bawasan sila doon sa dead round na 'yon ng big. And this is why I prefer if teams stack up a site instead na, you know, mag-default na lang kayo with those USPs kasi you can get some value off of those dead rounds. Pwede ka makahulog ng dalawang AKs and that's gonna, you know, laking pera yun. Two, dalawang 2.7k guns makawala dito sa G2. Economy is not that high. So, the drop galing dito kay Big pero G2 mukhang makakolekta na naman ng isang round din dito. Big, not the best buy. Not the best buy indeed. Pero, uh, doable. I mean, there's gonna be some flashes. Okay, it will be uh, damaged there for a bit. Pero double nade para dito kay tropa nating Nico. He'll be picked up there by Tito. 
Okay, so he'll try to pick up a gun. Pero guardiado yan yung next, ha. Smoke will be thrown. Ako po. Kinivoy na nga nila yun, mga chong. Mabu Napulot na nga ni Tabsin yung AK. Molly. Up top. Pero meron pong smoke. So next, uh, still guarding dito sa my mid. So that hindi makaabante itong big. Kasi once makakontrol yan ng big, talagang sobrang laking pagkakamali or laking kawalan nun sa my G2. But Jax, together with the guys from G2, they are traveling from short forward lane. Ay na, Tabsin taking one with that AK from Nico. Next up, we'll be picking up one. Kaso, mga kaibigan, 1v3. Naku po, hindi ganun kaganda ito for G2. Punished so bad. Nandito lang yung bomba sa gilid, pero kita siya naman dun sa may long and there's gonna be a kill coming from downtown with just that pistol. If I'm not mistaken, mga kaibigan. Five seven to the face. And <laughs> yun na nga. Once again, the value of these upgraded pistols, katama ang SG, really coming into effect para dito sa big. And I am really a fan kung ganito sila maglaro ng dust to every time. Kasi full control lang sila dito sa mapa. They're not letting G2 get in the site easily. Parang pinapakubit pa nila dito sa certain na site bago sila mag-retaliate. So what big is doing is halfway in na yung G2. But Big mm. still denying them the site from far away. And one thing is for sure, hindi naman din ipipik kung mapang to ng Big. They're not that uh, proficient dito, diba? I mean, teams who pick uh, Dust 2 only know that Molly. Yun, <laughs> pero namatay nga si Jax. Okay. Okay. Masama to para sa G2. It's their gun round. And then bangas agad sila by one person. So, it's a huge, it's a huge deficit na may tuturing. Lalo, ang hirap mag-commit sa isang site pag kulang kayo eh. Diba? Meron pa rin threat ng AWP dito ni Searson. So, yep. they can't just go in. You know, really need it. Tamang... Okay. Flash lang and mga smokes ang mangyayari dito sa short pero... Oh, the one way! Oh, oh the oh, one way! Oh, no. no, no, no. Sila yung nag one way, sila yung nabigyan and there's gonna be Tijuan to take out Hunter. Pero, next ha? Having an information na meron nga ang tao dito sa may box. And, uy! He wasn't able to see that. And, ayun na nga. Tabsin. Taking off next ha? G2 Esports being toyed by Big Dito, mga kaibigan. Amanek taking one with that off, but he'll be picked off by Searson. And another round will go para dito sa Big. And ito na mga song, ang laki na nga ng deficit dito para sa game. And G2, plenty of rounds ang kanilang hahabulin talaga. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, sabi ni John, di pa pala nag-change yung Dust 2 Paps. I don't think it's gonna change for the whole tournament. Kasi yeah. Blast already started, uh, you know, playing this patch. The pre-Dust 2 mm. is no longer fun para sa T-Patch. Baka doon na sa ano, last for Blast Premier Finals. Pili mm, ko yeah. sa Finals papalitan. Laking adjustment oh, yun, ah. Laking adjustment yun, by the way, para sa mga teams natin. Kasi Dust 2, especially for big who really uh -huh. likes to control that middle area dito sa Dust2. Mahirapan yata sila na onte. I, I guess like the only solution is to just run someone doon sa suicide, pero dali kasi i-pre-aim doon eh. Mm hmm. Oo. Pero sa ngayon, G2. So just there's upgraded pistols. Let's nalamang natin mga kaibigan. <clears throat> Playing it slow. Aha, uh -huh. parang ng pistol round lang na ginawa dito ng G2. Pero Big is doing uh, great sa ating uh, first half nitong mapa. Just replenishing that smoke. Adding some time para nga makapag-delay dito.
a G2 on the B side. But four man's here and Nico taking it. Oh. Oh, this one with just one name. <laughs> with just one. <laughs> These guys are down. Ayun lang. <laughs> Nako si Nico! Oh, my man got dinked like 5 times by the Glocks. Kawawa naman. Whoever was playing yung harap ng tunnels pero big. That single nade. Yeah! <laughs> that single nade really ended it. Itong buong round. Nico, na boost pa dito ni Tabsen. I like it. I like it galing sa big. They definitely know their dust too. Um, knowing yeah. that walang buy itong G2. So, mas focus nila ang site dito. At yung A long. Kasi nga, that is the most likely place na magra-rush yung mga T's na walang utility kasi nga, sobrang tanig na mga site. Unless that happens, you know, you get five man needed and, you know, naging disaster na. <laughs> Wala eh, nakakatawa na lang eh. Kumbaga, easy round para din dito sa may big. But, you play sports, kailangan nilang i-take yun. So that they will have decent guns for this one. Which is, ito na nga mga kaibigan. Amonix to taking this up. Surely he's having a hard time. Napatalo siya sa mga duels eh. But wait. Uh, a short play coming from Nico. Will be boosted. Okay. Wala silang nahuli dun sa boost na yun, and then bail out lamang. We just wanted some information, and gusto lang muna nilang pumitas. Okay. Map control now. Map control. They're trying to get as much as they can dito sa A-short. Mm -hmm. Bago sila lamabas dito sa A-long. And if Nico can start pressuring itong B- or rather A-short, and they can start moving na dito sa A-long. Oh, oh no! All in lang! Nako po. Good thing Tijan was, uh, Traded there by Nexa. Kaso nga lang Tabsen nakakuha na din. 3v3 mga kaibigan. Sirson with that aggressive up towards Carr. Ako po na need. He's tagged. Alam ni Amanek someone in uh, andito mga kaibigan. Good flash Nexa with that uh, rundown kill towards Sirson. Good smoke. Dito sa may mid. Hunter will be tagged by Gade coming from short. Hindi pa tapos ng laban. Gade taking one though. Hunter is there to take that trade. Mumble now be planted. Amanek! Easiest right on the pit. Life. Gandang uh, snipe nun. Yeah, buti na lang nandun si Amanek sa CT. That would have been a disaster. Para dito <laughs> sa D2. Kasi nga, initial push dito ni TZ. And pag nakuha niya pa si Nexa, that would have been a save para dito sa D2. But Nexa, that double entry dun sa long. Really giving G2 some space to work with dito sa A. And I thought meron pa nga chance dito yung big in since they got control of short tapos onti na lang yung aura dito. But mm -hmm. skills coming in nga sa G2. Well, kagandahan pero oh, Amanek showing strong though Tijan nakuha naman dito si Jax. Now he will try to pick up that gun. Mal malaking tulong to kasi nakahero by lang sila. Dito kay Sirson na naka-op. And this AK would help them a lot. Holding these sites. So, ilong bantay na bantay dito ngayon ng uh, big. Mag-isa lang dito. Si Kuya mo Kito on oh, He has the Zeus though. Oh, he's oh! The moment he missed. Chain diya but eh. Kung diya but. Bro, who knew a counter to a taser was an AK-47, pare. <laughs> AK indeed. Now na han, and there's a plan. Well, maganda naman para sa G2s, G2 esports given. Ino. Masadu sa malayo eh. Dapat oh. nasa close angle siya pag dito. Hindi aabot eh. Sobrang sagad kasi akala niya ata tatakbo lang. Walang sigal. Hindi <laughs> aabot. Hindi aabot. X27. Ayun lang. I mean, 10 you, bits. I mean, ito. Nag-start lang talaga yung round na to off of yung pick ni Amanek. 
pero Tizian though. I think satisfied na yung big but with what they've got in that round. Na keep nila yung AWP. Merong AK dito si Tizian na nakuha yeah. sa long. Pwede siya mag-trap para sa kanyang teammates. Big has a really healthy buy dito sa round na to. So, G2, sana maging aware sila. They have to be careful kasi these are not the rounds na Deagles lang ang makikita mo from a big. Full buy, full utility. Nako. Especially knowing how good uh, big is maximizing yung utility nila. Hindi nakakapasok ng basta-basta. Out D2, there's always a smoke greeting them at every corner. Oh my god. The tags towards Gade, yung malaking bagay talaga na naibibigay dito ng G2, right? Beginning. Kasi at least meron silang minus one potential. Ay, nadinig dito si Gade eh. Oh. Okay. Spray down towards station. Nanaan dito lang sa may gilid ng doors. He's waiting for someone to go out though. Oh, yun lang nakuha agad si Kuya Monico. Alright. So, 4v5 and big with just uh, those guns. Kayang-kaya pa nilang ma-hold talaga ang isang site. Ganda ng position ni Tijan. Hindi talaga niya binibitawan yung A-long. Para, syempre kahit mag A-split dito yung, ano, yung G2. Mas marami silang ano, mas marami silang control. Pwede pa nilang ma-pencer if ever yung G. Pero hindi pa rin sila nagpo-commit sa isang site, ha? Not yet. Amanek. Okay, Hunter. With the molly dun sa gilid, may, na may napilitang umalis. But this is an out-aiming Jax. And si Gade naman nakuha si Hunter. And another one for Tishan. And ayun na nga mga kaibigan, the moment... He missed. Napatay siya, but then again, they will still win that round. Konting mm -hmm. mistiming lang. Galing dito mm -hmm. sa G2, not gonna lie. Kasi I think yung plano doon was for A short to walk up, tapos mag-walk up na rin yung A long. I think, yeah, just miscommunication galing dito kay G2. I really expected sila next na lumabas na dito sa long um, together. And just get control right away from Tizian. Kaso Tizian, ang ganda ng angle niya palagi dun sa aircon eh. So he's so, just chilling dun sa gilid. Basically tapping away. And nung namatay na nga si Nexa dun, I immediately <laughs> thought na, yeah, this is just a save para dito sa G2. There's no point for them getting in the site. And I was so confused kung bakit nag-push dun si uh, Amanek. I think na-force yata yung hand niya kasi may mga CTs na rin galing sa likod. Tabagay. Mahirap na din talagang pumesto if ever. Pero still, G2, decent enough na nakukuha na sila dito ng 5 uh, five rounds. Pero mas okay siguro kung maka at least 6. 9-6 tayo na scoreline. Doable pa yun eh. Diba? Alright. So let's yung mga kaibigan kung ano nga kaya ang magiging uh, datingan nito para sa G2 low firepower sila at the moment and low utility that's for sure oh may flash there pero smoke towards mid next sa uh. This, this mind control though, Boss JB, no one is hovering long. Takot na sila kay Tizian. Now they're gonna be forced to go all the way dito sa short. Pero Having ganda. long control, man, as a CT, that's so key. Kung gusto may defend itong A side from far away. Yeah, pwedeng pwede to. Pero, so. Ayun na nga, Pearson will be tagged. Nako, Rec 9 nga ba? Rec 9 indeed, coming from Amanek, but there's Tabson to take a kill. Yo, Tizian, and do something. <laughs> Your offer is dying. Wala, uh, I wanna hold this angle. Para siyang nag-hold ng SLP, eh, no? Hold ng gamma matay. <laughs> oh, hey! Oh! Jesus. Jax with sick play, pero patay na yung isa. Oh, ganda sana nun, but still. Wala, farm muna ng barrel, and then defuse. 
Sabot yan, since meron naman siyang... Can call this? Kit. Mm, yeah, meron siyang kit. No problem mm. whatsoever. The timer is really low dun sa bomba. So even pag walang kit, that would have been a free defuse. But big holding on dito sa city side natin really well. Grab it talaga. They've mind controlled G2 into not taking long. <laughs> and yun nga, feeling the burn itong side ng G2. And I think it really focus nila. They're probably gonna try to go long in this one. Ay, hindi. They're just going for the standard default. Okay. Pero 9-5, ah, like what I've said. Very important na makukuha sila ng anim dito. Nico taking Sun right there. Oppers down. And lamang pa rin yung G2. Sa, sa totoo lang. Pero, oh no, Tijan. Natag. Sobrang kate. Napatagusan dito ng malala ng G2. They already know na, okay, bangas na yung tao sa may A-long. Pero meron agad. Back up. Andito sila nakatambay sa may hard right ng uh, long so tingnan natin yung magagawa ba nila yan great flash coming from Amanek may, na, may napatay na isna but do they know that someone's on pit oh, no, sobrang ganda ng angle na dito ni Gade if... oh he's gonna get the upper oh, oh no oh it too trigger discipline na discipline right there oh. pero yun na nga Gade oh no with that play Always check your corners. Ay, ay, ay. Rule one of FPS games, man. You can never forget to check your corners. That's bomb too. You dung. Oh. After using the top of the smoke, para Wait. matago ang kanyang katawan. And somehow G2 killed the rest of Big. Yeah. Oh, sige, siya na lang pala natira. <laughs> sige, I really thought that as a round para dito sa Big. But then again, ang ganda nun para sa G2. Kasi sabi ko, Maka 9-6 lang. Sobrang laking uh, bagay na nun para dito sa G2. And uh, ayun nga, ang ating maging scoreline. So, let's see kung ano pa ba ang mangyayari sa ating second half. Pero Sneaky Frog, what are your thoughts? Ano tingin mo yung pwedeng mangyayari? Uh, G2 gets pistol of course. So, nakikita natin sa the round after the pistol round, yung mangyayari. Hmm. Whether or not gagana ba ang force of the I mean, if they can replicate, no, yung ginawa nila earlier, which is yung scout tapos yung deagles, they can really disable yung economy dito ng G2 for the first few rounds. And they can just be hard chilling with their M4, tamang farm lang. That's a really hard task. To hard task. Against G2. G2 CT side. G2 CT side is oh so good. Ang galing nila po na They're gonna have to pull out some god tier sets. Para makapansok ah. na sila sa mga side. So, yun lang talaga ang kailangan ang kabayanan dito ng big, no? Kasi hindi lang naman sila yung magaling mag-CT. <laughs> diba? Even their enemy team. So, let's see how will these guys play out. Ay, umupo eh. <laughs> so, ayun na nga mga kaibigan. Seeing that first half, eh, talaga naman nakakagaan na. And alam nyo na marami pa tayong makikitang ganto. Ngayong gabi sa Focus Fire, be sure to follow this page and uh, makikita natin sa pag-usad ng araw ang matitinding CS Games. And right after this day, magkakaroon tayo ng isang break and then sabak na agad tayo sa Group C which consists of OG, Navi, Maze, and Complexity for nabigating teams ang makikita natin doon na magsalpukan. So, mainam na mag-follow na agad kayo. Okay? <clears throat> Pero sa CC na yung hula mong papasok sa fall final? Nip. <laughs> Nip, oh? probably. Yung initial Dito. prediction ko for fall What? was... Sino ba ang unang prediction ko dito? Yung unang prediction ko was Astral uh, Astralis. And then, hindi nangyari. Kasi nga, vitality. Ah, yung bracket kasi, the bracket. I'm not, hindi ko sinasisi yung blast dito. Ah, but a bracket, man. Why would you put vitality and Astralis in the same group? Ang sakit <laughs> You could have had Astralis <laughs> and vitality dun sa tournament nyo. Kung nilagay na lang sila dun sa C. Mm -hmm. Ay, ay, ay. 
Itong group of death tong ano eh. Group of death tong group A. Kita mo, EG, Vitality, ah. Liquid. Let's pretend that Liquid's good, guys. Uh, liquid. <laughs> Then, Wala eh. Yeah. Itong group of life naman yung group C, man. Tina mo, feeling ko. Everyone, 90% of the people would say dito sa group C. Navi. It's Navi, yeah. It's Navi. It's not gonna beat everyone, man. Yeah. Like, They they won the last tournament and they might as well win this one. The motivation is simple is at an all-time high. To prove mm. these haters wrong. Pero OG, Free pero pa rin. I have, a, I have my faith in OG. Mm. Ako tingin ko sa A, yun nga, Vitality yung una ko. Tapos OG. And then dito, hindi ko sure kung G2 or NIP. Ano mm. uh, uh, ako dun. Uh, so-so ako dun. Pero kasi NIP, I've seen them play. I'm not that impressed. Pero pag, pag nakita mo naman talaga sila ng lumaro dun sa kanila mga favorable na maps, eh, Gucci Gucci. Pero kasi, can't blame me since nakita natin yung NIP perform dun sa last tournament. Hindi din ganun ka solid. ba? Diba? Not on top of their game. Pero ngayon, seeing them beat G2, malaki yung chance, ah. Mm-hmm. Dami kasi, dami pa rin nag underestimate sa transfer kasi ni Device, eh. It's a really good transfer, guys. Grabe. Eh. Mm-hmm. Like, ever since na pumasok siya ng NIP, everyone just got better. Especially si Rez. I think si Rez, nung pumasok uh-huh. na si Device, eh, parang may, parang may storyline na nag-form sa mga forums na <laughs> Sino ba talaga yung star dito ng NIP? Is it gonna be Get Right Jr., also known as Rez? Or is it device na ba? The guy who has probably the highest transfer fee dito sa CSGO at 800k para lang malipat hmm. dito sa NIP zone. Yeah. Totoo, totoo yan. Pero kasi mahirap kung siya lang yung gagalaw. Ba't Nico? Ganda ng angulo dito. Nakatingin sa sahig. But the boost, just so they can see the head of Nico. Oh. Pero... Wala si- hindi, naabangan pa rin nila eh. Nakakaramdam sila na meron tao dito ngayon sa may car. And finally, saw the head of Nico. That's some trading itong si Amanek, mga kaibigan. Pero, 4v4 ang ating laban. Jax will be tagged. Ayun na nga, Tejan and Kito will be taking someone for themselves. Next up, dito sa may CP ramp. Together with Amanek, both of them are here. They will lose to on sa duelo, and that pistol round will go for big. Yeah, that's rough. Para dito sa G2, that could have been the catalyst para sa kanilang comeback. But big, I think nung namatay ng adun si Nico, that would have been a really good play. If meron pang isang tao dun sa A side para lang matulungan nito yung CT, but man. Mm-hmm. I think nasa utak talaga ni Nico that that play would work. <laughs> wala eh. Nakabante na din yung mga kalaban and uh, wala naka-ready for a trade. Well, meron. Kaso, may isa pang trap na nakabang yung big doon sa my long. So, so ngayon naman, um, scout play para dito sa si Nico and just some traded pistols. Pinwersa pa rin nila yung buy dito ngayon. For Big, on the other hand, will be holding two Galils. One AK, one Mac-10, and isang Scout. Oh! Man! <laughs> Grabe yun! Grabe si Gay dito. From Zimbabwe to freaking South Africa yung ginawa ng Big na yun. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Grabe. Big play though. The Hunter taking Tejan. So 4v4. Still doable. May nagpakita. Nico playing through that smoke. He'll be tagged there and low with 18 HP. Amanek taking gain with CZ. The bomb is in mid. And alam na yun ng G2 kung saan i-expect ang kalaban. Tabson! How did Tabson die? <laughs> How? Na nag-lag? <laughs> Nalaglag yata, oh no. Oh, seriously, you can get out of that. Oh, oh so no. You don't do the no scope. scope. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. You don't Nagkabalik do the no scope. Nagkabalik na yung Nostra ko. Sabi ko dun sa Nostra, mananalo yung G2. And then, matatalo sila dun sa force buy. But Balik the opposite sir. happened. So, nananalo yung big. <laughs> Nalatalo sila sa force buy. So, yeah. Opposite yeah. A pa lang ngayon. Ayun, okay. Nalaglag na. Natag siya. Tapos, 
hindi na kinaya ng buhay. <laughs> alright, alright. Oh. Oh, no, po, tawag dun tuhog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Vision and Tabson got tagged there. Maraming HP ang nabawas. Amanek with that great angle though. Throwing some flash. Now po nakadab. A nade might do the trick. And mm. yep, that's gonna be a kill for Amanek. And may makukuha pa. Good play coming from Amanek with just that scout and hunter will be hunting two guys leaving people on mid this is actually a good round for sa G2 I'm not expecting them to do much against big I know that's gonna be a kill and there we go another round going for G2 that's nice Yeah, the second round forced by, rather the round 18 forced by, did not work out para dito sa big. So back into the trenches they go, five glocks, yun lang. Wala na silang pang set dito, so they're gonna go full eco. Rush B maybe? Kaso, MP9, M4, Bamas, here mm. pagrush nito. And oh no, Nico taking one. Jax will be getting three. Kaso, Hunter will be flanking and hunting the last guy from big. And good round. At least, lesson yung casualty na nakuha nila dito. Sa pistol lang na yun ng big. Medyo unlucky lang yata sa video. I feel like yung spawn ng mga kakampi niya, sobrang layo dun sa Elong. Nagkataon lang talaga na A-long spawn itong Citizen, so he wanted to entry. But, yeah, did not work out. Should have just rushed B, kung ganun. Kaso, wala eh. Big. They wanted to risk itong long. I think gusto nila makuha yung scout agad eh. Sa ganun na, if they intended na i-push itong A-long. Kasi, scout versus 5 long. Matatag yung teammate mo, then you get a free kill. Then, that could have been easy para sa kanila. Kaso, ibang pala yung pala. <laughs> get rifled. <laughs> These guys got rifled, pero yun na nga. Um, four AKs, one up. Para dito sa big. Pretty heavy. For a four G two. Holding uh tons of utilities. They are ready. Sila. Ano sila? Three smoke. Tapos three flashes and one molly would uh, help a lot and uh, tingnan natin kung ano nga kaya ang kanilang maipapakita dito sa ating round na to and there's gonna be Tabson taking Miko nakahold isang site and Halong ganun ganun lang nabutas na agad pero gusto nga nilang magpunta sa B and that B split was successful coming from Big this is huge para dito sa T side and save na lang to para sa G2. Maybe well played from the mga acre players dito. I think bonus na lang to na nakakuha na ng kill si Tabsen. I think the real MVP were those smokes doon nga sa short making it seem like Big was gonna go for this A push. Mm -hmm. Pero hindi pala. Really good fake, really good sell. Galing dito sa Big and they get their 11th. No, lima na lang. They get the first map. Yup. And uh, sobrang ganda nito para talaga sa big. And G2, hirap na hirap ngayon. That's good. Cool. Pero yun nga mga kaibigan. And another round sa big. Um, ang iniisip ko dito, paano kaya makakabawi yung G2? No? Paano kaya? It's still intriguing eh. Mm, you need to get more control ng mapa, to be honest. I mm -hmm. feel like uh, yung default nila, which is, you know, maglagay ka ng dalawa sa under, then try to get short, then mm -hmm. back off sa short, then decide from there. But so far, Big's defense is really different na hindi yata ma-figure out ng G2 anong gusto talagang gawin ng Big dito. And I think Big was prepared. Especially dito sa SAS 2. Kasi 
every time na papasok kayo dito sa mga sites or even defending these sites nabi sila mm. confused eh Toto, they are confused in kung saan sila magde-defend pero ah uh, ha sino yung naandun sa may pit malaking ano to malaking bagay if ever nga na mag long yeah. <clears throat> Si Jax? Ah, okay. Hindi ka na makita eh. Pero anyways, good hold para dito sa J2. Sa kanilang, uh, ano tawag dito? Sa kanilang sites eh, naka-anchor lamang sila dyan. While for uh, big, understandable kung bakit nga nandito lang sila sa may mid. Playing their time, <coughs> trying to uh, create a commotion and then mag-punish ng isang site. So, they are going for B. Mukha, pero no! They're waiting for the rotation of Monster, but Vision is right there in gate, taking off Nico. They are being toyed dito sa first map natin, mga kaibigan. Big is doing great. Man, whoever called that galing sa Big, shout out to you, my man. That's such a five-head play. Galing dito sa big, they, nagpakita muna sila dito sa mid, trying to threaten itong B site. And I think gusto talaga nila i-draw out itong A long player na mag-push dito and try to go for alert. And success para sa kanila. They baited the G2 side once again. This is just a game of baits para dito sa big. Yun nga, once na nag-pop na yung mga yung utility dito sa B, and at the same time nag-pop na yung utility dito sa long, yun nga. Napalirk tuloy yung isang player, yung pala may nakaabang. Ang ganda. Sobrang gandang hold nun and uh, I props indeed para dun. The big for pulling off that kind of play. Leaving G2 Esports with their pistols dito sa round na ito. Now it's a question on how G2 will be defending this one. <clears throat> so 1-4 ulit ang kanilang magiging pistuhan dyan. 1, B, 4, A. They're playing mid. Walang naka-anchor sa site sa ngayon. Pero... Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ready sila dito sa may A. Behind the smoke. Nakaboost. So, maaaring may makita na umangat. If gumana to, Hands down, dito sa G2. Pero Jackson taking one. Minumulto na po ng G2. Yung big. Pero, Tabsen and Sirson will be boosted as well. Ayun na nga may nakita. But Sirson will be tagged. Naunahan pa siya dun. Pero finally, Nexa getting Sirson right there. Tabsen will be getting one. Leaving Jax and Amanek. Dito. Pero naka-plant yung bomb. May, may sinusubukang umikot dito ngayon. He'll be losing that duel. And ilista na natin to mga kaibigan para sa big completely. Mm -hmm. Close. And, Close. Ganda. Close sana yun galing sa G2 if they got more frags. I mean, they mm. did have damage dito sa big. Hindi yata in-expect ni Kito na meron palang nakaboost dito sa gilid. Damage lang with those deagles, but big in the end. Adjusted really well. Di sila nag-hold ng angle that they can get one dig instantly. Nakita mo naman dun sa long. Nag-back off na as soon as nakita niya na yung player dun sa elevator with that deagle. Might as well play it safe para dito sa big. Do yeah. have the lead. And they do have control of the map. And of G2 apparently kasi every time napapasok itong big sa certain part ng map, G2 is on the other side. True, true, true. But uh, for the meantime, mga kaibigan, tignan muna natin. This is the gun round of G2. So, might do more. Pero, ito. Okay, okay, Hunter. Parting this angle. Yun na nga, makakatag naman dito si Nexa. But, makakalusot itong si Tishon. Though, Hunter and Nico will be picking off those two guys. Kito with 20 HP. Will be finished off there by Nico leaving Serson on mid lane he's got nowhere to go nakaabang dito sa mid 
itong si Amanek from Car and Sir Sean will just be saving this mm-hmm. gun. Ah, that would have been good para dito sa big. Not gonna lie. Kasi tatlo lang naman yung tao dito sa B and you have five people on you. Mm-hmm. Just that, kinuha dito ng G2. They just guarded it so well. Kung hindi yep. namatay dun si Tizian, that would have been the round para dun sa big. But really good hold. Galing dito sa G2. Playing around the smokes. Knowing the, the, the angles that you can play dito sa B that you can get multiple kills on. And yun na nga. At least they get uh, double digits naman dito sa round na to. 13 to 10. Yeah. Maganda ang round kahit pa paano para sa G2. Pero still, hindi natin may pagkakaila na 3 rounds na lang ang kailangan ng big for them to take this map. Hello? And looking like we are about to see a 2-1 series. For me, tingin ko talaga malaki yung potential na makakita tayo. Huwag mo i-reveal yung bet mo dito, boss. <laughs> <laughs> hindi, hindi ako nag-bet. Nalabas may secret eh. Ay, <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Pero walang bet, of course. All bets are uh-huh. para sa amin. Kasi, yeah. I will be bet on this match, guys. Anyway, casters don't have money. Yep. Well, casters knows, only. Casters are broke. Okay. <laughs> gamitin nyo na yung code. They are broke. Tama. Gamitin nyo na para magkaroon kami ng pang bet. <laughs> yes sir. Okay, anyway. ngayon, if if anyone na nakabet sa atin sa mga cast, probably the ones that are not casting, especially itong si Pilaj and you. Ayo, oh, siyempre. Naubos dito sa bit. Ay. Oopsie. Oopsie boy. <laughs> <laughs> Napapa-oopsie ako kasi yung big dito ngayon eh konti yung thing dumudulas and Sir Son is low about to save this gun once again. Pero next is there. Ala, nakita siya ni Sir Son. Some flashes. Pero, counter flash para kay Sir Son. Oh, look at that. The flick though coming from next up. Good deal. And, yeah, I mean, maganda naman yung mga idea dito ng big. They really just have to kill one of the G2 members na nagde-defend dun sa mid and unfortunately yung tao pala na nagde-defend dun sa mid ay si Nico so full awareness lang gayang sa kanya that Big is gonna go for some sort of play it's a bit playing around that door making sure that he's not on the same angle mm-hmm. and yun na nga paying off pa dito sa G2 now Big is broke okay so sa ngayon Makikita natin yun nga uh, big na mag-save muna or low buy na may tuturin. 13 and 12. Ako po. Mukhang reading ano ah. Reading bumaliktad. Or reading ibaliktad dito ng G2 yung ating bakbakan. So, after this, pag naipanalo to ng G2 ng isang malinis, let's expect na mag-13-13 yung atin laban. And legit, yung sinabi ko, yung dam ako na 50-50 yung match natin sa ngayon. ba diba? mm-hmm. okay. Single set, man. Single set is all they need, itong big. That's so they can get ah. this side. Pero they're running into A? I feel like may something dito sa strat nila. I feel like itong si Tabs and Dead Red is And yeah, gonna go somewhere else. Pero oh, never mind. Direct na sila sa A. Oh, Nico spotting one, making everyone think that they are committing A. Because they will. Pero tag na dito ng si Kiko. Magkakabit dito ni Nico at kung isa mga kaibigan, but ako po na multo yung G2 and from those angles, yung unang big na kuha ng kills. Mukhang wala pong mananalong dito. Sabi dito ng big with sad play coming from Tizian outplaying itong G2. Beautiful. Four smokes. One sa CT. One sa CT ulit. Pero sa A side naman. Isa dito sa short. And isa... Grabe. I think doon sa B. May nakita yata akong smoke doon sa B. So, actually, I think I was wrong. Bab, B, bait sana yun. Kaso, 
nakita agad si Tabsen na uh, nag-walk dito sa A. So, medyo nag-panic dun yung G2. And, yeah, yeah nag-pay off to para sa big. Nako po. Ganda, ganda nun. Pero, ano yun, ha? Um, tilting round yun para sa G, para sa G2. Yun lang masasabi ko, tilting around indeed. And, kung ano nga kaya ang magagawa dito ngayon ng tropahan but with that gun round of tabs in or for the guys diba talagang mahihirapan ngayon yung G2 umangulo pero isa lang masasabi ko siguro uh, maging kampante yung G2 sa round na yun diba sobrang kampante nila sa blind side din sila kasi daming pistols na Tumalabas dito sa short. Meron din pala lumabas dun sa long. Hindi yata na-expect ni Amanek na meron palang lalabas dun. He thought that it would be a five-man push. Kasi yun nga yung gawaan ng, ng big. True. But... Amanek, address. Oh, taking one. My take two. And ito na nga mga kaibigan. I dare you, lumabas ka. But that's a flash. Absent? Setting up a molly, doing some may gilid, but sobren layo. Easier take taken by Nico. Pero sir, sir, naka ano pa siya yan? Naka up pa siya dito sa may short. Is it safe? Naman ba niya to? He needs to save this. If I give him a pan of safe, so this is really bad. Oh no, big. You really Kato. needed that AWP, man. Para may ano kayo mid presence dito. Pero sir, sir, he has 6.7k. So that mm -hmm. is, you know, a silver lining ng round na to. Pwede pa siya mag-AWP going into the next round. But the rest of the squad, not looking too nice ang kanilang economy. I think, uh, probably, I'm thinking, pwede nilang sabayan yata itong si Sears of the top. Oh, I was right. Okay. <laughs> sabayan. Uy! <laughs> Ako po ang swerte naman ni Hunter dito. He got hunted down to 20 HP. Kamot si kuya. Nako po, mukhang malalaso na naman po ang G2. It's important for G2 to win this round dahil kung hindi, ma-point na yun ng big. Lagi nga gawin pwedeng maibigay dito. Itong round na to para sa big. Diba? So, let's see. What is about to happen? Pero, ganong molly, Hunter. Hiding dito sa cars, pero naku po, nasusunog si Nico and Amanek. <laughs> oh uh, no, Tabson. Whoever was in mid, shout out to you, man. <laughs> that molly just saved you that round. Grabe. And yun ang sinasabi ko, post JP, it only takes one set. Now yeah. dito sa big and that's gonna be the end of it para dito sa G2. And it is looking yun likely, yun na nga, 100% sabi ng AI, 15 to 12 na ang mangyayari dito. Save galing sa G2, but this is not the best position para sa kanila kasi wala silang, um, wala silang loss bonus, if I'm not mistaken. Kasi dire-direcho ka ang panalo nila. And they're going into 15 with not the best economy. So, looking rough para sa kanila. Looking rough indeed. And, it's a map point now for a big. Mukhang makakakita tayo ng 16-12. Kasi, looking at the economy, uh, G2 mukhang hindi talaga ganun kaganda mm -hmm. pero nice. ready silang kumuha dito ng uh, ano tawag dito? overtime yeah. mm -hmm. overtime ready silang mag overtime dito kailangan nila ng ultra lasson ultra lasson <laughs> strat yun that's kind of a mouthful yeah. to say pero yeah that is exactly what they need maybe they can make a pop flash play Somewhere, dito sa map, na makakuha sila ng minus one agad or even minus two if swerte nga sila. But yeah, it is now up to G2 to make something happen. Kasi mm -hmm. pag wala nangyari dito sa round na to, Big are just gonna take a sight with numbers advantage. And if it goes well para sa kanila, this is just over. It is over indeed. 
wala eh. Stats do lie sometimes. Like what you pointed out in the yun nga. Ano kaya nito? Ano kaya comment yun actually? Kagabi di ba? Good, good call, good call actually. So sometimes stats do lie. Yeah. Inga. Ito ng alik palayo na naiintindi pa ng sa agent side. Jax? Oh no! That's a good play coming from Jax, but uh, in anticipate na ng big that someone is playing. But Tito spotting dito si Kuya mo next. Uh, but Tito is there to get the trade. Do Gado taking Amanek, leaving three players aside ng G2. But big and then ang kanyang kinakot. Look at Sirson. Sirson. Pwede pang maglason dito si ano si Gade actually if he can get one more this is really good oh no, he goes oh, out ayun na nga B is free B is free and walang kalam alam yung tropa kung nasa anong bomba ngayon but oh he's gonna go back oh no ayan. hunter yung ginawa oh. ng big it's like they ginawa nila sa G2 G2 shot themselves in the foot dito sa round na to <laughs> oh wow. no it's actually insane galing sa big. True, true, true. Pero, easy plant para dito ngayon sa may big. Molly dito sa may city. With those guns, kaya nilang mabantayan talaga yung both angles. And one coming from Elong and one among the galing sa city. Taking down itong si Hunter Jax will be taking Sirson. But the bomb was planted. Jax, can he do this? 15 HP. 15 HP, Molly will be thrown. Pero run down na lang dito. Ni Gadeo. On ng oras. And there we have it. That's a win para dito sa big. And 2-0. Tignan natin. Malaki ang chance given that they have their momentum. And like what I pointed out, both teams are momentum based. Yeah, I mean, di kita di talaga kita mabu blame for that two zero prediction. I mean, I think Big has enough experience para makalaban. Itong G two sa ating second map, but still, it is very G two favored. Itong Inferno, so we'll just have to wait and see. Pero Big displayed, I wouldn't say the most perfect dust two. Pero kung isa kang pro team, tapos gusto niyo magimprove sa dust two, you look to Big para mahuwa ka ng mga plays that are made and you know, perfected for this map. Because every panalo ng big dito is actually, from what I recall, onti lang yung clutches, no? Onti lang yung clutches na ginawa dito ng big. I think it was, yung marerecall ko lang na clutch is yung clutch ni, almost clutch ni Tizian, I think, pero hindi nga nangyari yun. But, yeah. I mean, big. Really well played na Dust 2. So, guys, if you're a pro team and you really want a framework para sa mga strats nyo dito sa Dust 2, You should big. look at big sets kasi uh -huh. ganda talaga. Totoo. And uh, let's see kung ano nga kaya mangyayari sa ating second map. Are we gonna see A2-0? Well, let's check that out later on if makakabawi pa itong G2 sa kanilang map pick mismo. But then again, that's our first map. We saw that one with the 16-12 scoreline. Congratulations once again sa big pero magbabalik kami para sa isa na namang bakbakan ng Blast Premier Fall Groups 2021. Yan lang kayo. Huwag kayong alis.